Hey, Mum, how are you? I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> it's been a long time since we've done one of these. It is, yes, yes. I can see your um, room now. It's how you've done it. You have done it quite differently, haven't you, at the back? I have. So it's since old. we've last since we've last done our lives, I decorated it. So this back wall here is pink, and um, the other walls are all white. Oh right, okay. Is it all thread at the back of you? Is it what? Sorry. Is it all? thread at the back of you the yes back. it is all thread I've got all of my threads on the back and I've got my zippers and I've got my mid arm which is at the back there which I am going to be oh you can see it because of my chair which has moved around oh, yeah. <clears throat> so I'm um, and then I've got my printer and then I was messing around yesterday trying to get all of my room a bit more arranged a bit better again because I, I was sick of having my sewing machines on the sides there so I put them into the cupboard and now everything seems spacious. Joe, you know I think the pink makes everything spacious. <laughs> it makes everything a bit more airy. Well he's, he's, I think I think sometimes when you eat you know, you've got a favourite colour. It's like, it makes makes you happy and makes you feel better, I think. It does, it? doesn't it? I am going to change the camera over to my cutting space because I haven't cut anything yet. You've cut. I haven't. Yeah, I have, yeah. I'm the naughty one. And I've done, let me just see. What colours are you doing it? Can you, can you see? One second. Oh, you did it green. Oh, you're well ahead. Stop it. Well, I haven't got a fancy dancing machine like you have. I know, but it's like I'm way behind. Yeah, but don't forget what time it is here. And it's like, it should be like mummy's bedtime. <laughs> it is like 7.35 in a.m. Uh, p.m. in the in the so evening. you generally go to bed at 7 30 in the evening do you no not that early no but it's, it's very very dark outside here it's not mummy's bedtime at all <laughs> but he's like you know when mummy gets tired my young mum gets tired of it you know what I mean it's like I'm saying weird things already aren't I So we're going to be working with pins today. Are you okay with that? I've got lots of pins. I've, I've collected lots off the market. Some of them is are uh, just, uh, can you see that? Lots of pins. Do you is have any sequins or not? Got it. Do you have any sequins? I don't have any sequins, no. So do you think that's enough pins? <laughs> it should be. I think it takes, I'm not joking, it takes about 200 pins. Good so what so you made, cut. that you made any other thing, it's really, really pretty. I can't think to find any really, really nice. Um, what other thing? You know, we seem to find some really pretty stuff over there. It's, we don't, we don't seem to have that nice. You know what you call it? Those embellishments that you have. Well, I was watching um, a YouTube video the other day, and this woman said that she went to a really good quilt show in Birmingham. Really, <laughs> really. So I need, I need. 26, don't I? Yeah, 26 of your, um, your main and 16. This is going to be my main. Have you seen what I'm doing here? I've just folded the, the fabric over. Yeah, so you, yeah, you're doing it in, so you're cutting two out of time. I thought you were going to use that uh, cricket thing. Well, I have a load of pink scraps, so why would I do that? 
Oh, right, okay. So I don't want to break into another, like, full sheet of pink when I've got all these scraps. So I want to break into these scraps. Yeah, I don't blame you. So now, so two, four, six, eight, ten. Still need some more. <laughs> I think that was the quickest time I've ever been to the quilt shop today. Right, mate. <clears throat> so I knew it was going to open at 10 o'clock, so I thought, well, it's going to take me at least a half an hour to drive there. Plus, I needed pe petrol in the car, and I hate putting petrol in the car. And, um, and then I got there just at 10. God, really? So I had every single woman in that quilt shop working for me because I was absolutely pulling so much of this fabric. They were like, can I help you cook? 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> so I got everybody working for it. It's great. Did you feel, did you feel special? <laughs> I did feel special. I love that quilt shop, though. <laughs> So that was just a pile of 10, wasn't it? I left there. Yeah, that, yeah, on that side, yeah. Are you counting? Did you cut in? No, I'm not counting as I'm cutting. I'm just cutting a load of two and a half inch squares. Okay, two, four, six, eight. 10, 20, two, four. I need another two. Yep. They're just not, do I not honestly have any strips that I've already cut to it? Here you go. I mean, I could have been organized, but why? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody might learn from this. Yeah. Two and a half. So I was watching a load of um, sewing organisational things. Actually, I wasn't just watching sewing. I was watching crafting videos as well to see how they organise. I suppose it's the same kind of thing, isn't it, really? See, I have the same problem as you because a lot of the people on, on YouTube videos are from the States and they can get a lot better deals than even I can. Right, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's terrible over here for fabrics and, and just little bits and pieces and stuff. It really is. I think it's more so because you don't have a car as well to try and find these places. You know, there's a lot of things that have been shut down. Closed down. Oh, I forgot how many there were. I just did. I just need number two. Yeah. yeah Are you yeah. sure? I'm just going to count. Two. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. So 27. I've got 27. You just need 26, don't you? Yeah, I've got one more than I needed. Okay, so that's my main. So the pink, <laughs> and it's 16 of the white. I just want to do white and... I 
Joe had a really sparkly white fabric, and I don't know whether I used it or what. That would have been cool. Yeah, it would have been, wouldn't it? I don't think I'm going to get a 16 out of that. I might get 16 out of this. I don't know. Oh, God. So 26, two and a half inch main, 16, two and a half inch contrast. I know this isn't going to be much of a contrast, but this is what I want. So there. It's a good idea. It's a good um, thing to make. You know that to use up all the scraps, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I was trying to find a funny story, but I couldn't find one. <laughs> I have to stick with boring stories. I'll talk about eggnog. Oh, yeah. What was, did you like it? Eh? Yeah. I haven't tried it warm yet. I can have it warm as well, can you? Yeah. No, I've never had that. I've never tried that before. Has anybody else had eggnog before? I don't know if anybody else is watching. Well, if, if and when they do, can you let us know? <laughs> is anybody there? Is anybody there? <laughs> It's like filming into the abyss. Yeah. I'm sure somebody will come on eventually. Or right at the very end when we're just leaving, somebody will come on. Yeah, same. Oh, hi. Oh, I missed you. You have to watch it again. <laughs> watch it again later. <laughs> See, if you wouldn't have gone so far ahead, did you cut it with your rotary blade? I did. And how are you liking your rotary blade? I actually like it now, I've got used to it. Do you remember when I first started using it? <laughs> I used to make a like, hash of it, didn't I? I don't know why. I prefer this because when you're making it, I can see what you're doing if you're having trouble. Yes. I bet I'm not going to have enough of this white, am I? A minute, when you said you're going to get back the um, polystyrene balls, well, I've ended up like getting, I got some of these, they're all like sparkly, sparkly things like, I didn't have a tape measure on these, so it was, it, was, it was a dumb thing to do as well. And then I went out again and got some more because I thought, right, they were too big. And I went out and got these ones and they were too small. I can tell on screen that they're too small. Yeah, so it's like they're too small, but they don't even have they don't even have the eyes or anything on the packaging. When so, you buy them from like a pound store, it was exactly a pound store. Then I I got these eventually from. I had a cat squatting at the door. One second, who is that? Who's come to visit? Come on, Sophie, you're coming in. You've got to come in. Come on. What she, she, she has a singer just going, <laughs> she makes peculiar noise. So I found these, and these are the right size, and they've got like uh, markings on them. So I can, I know where the middle is, and the middle, 
the circumference of it all as well. <laughs> Oh, I love you, beautiful. <laughs> oh. Hello, beautiful girl. Hello. Of course she moves. Are you coming to help? <laughs> Just sit on there. <laughs> oh, she's beautiful. Look at the tail. <laughs> All you can see is the tail. Yeah. And she sat on the iron it, Matt. I know. <laughs> She's purring. Is she? <laughs> oh, beautiful girl. Okay, so how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Are you getting and there? One, two, three. Oh, 15. I need one more. <clears throat> oh, wow. Well, that's good. How are the boys? Being boys. Is our got to be behaving? Are you not going to be on live, Sophie? Okay. We have everything that's required. I'm going to leave my eye in. So I can go over here. And I don't need my rotary cutter anymore. Do we stuff stuff? Hey, you a baby girl. How do I spotlight myself? I would love to know that. View, gallery. Oh, that's much better. Now I can see what's going on. So you haven't done one of these for absolutely ages. I know. Right. Maybe I should turn a light on, eh? <clears throat> Look at that. We have light. Have you got more snow? No, but it's cold. Okay. Very damp here. We have the iron on. We have some water to drink. We have some coke to drink. And then we have these. So I need to hold two. You held two of your main back, didn't you? Yes. Well, this is going to take some time, isn't it? So we're going to start folding. I found it easier to fold them in half first. Because otherwise you start burning yourself. If you start doing the corners. Did you do it all at once, Mum? Or did you do it? Or did you do this no, first? I, I did that. I did it like that. I tried to do it with the um, do it all together, but I was I was definitely burning my fingers. Yeah. It does get hot, actually. So I really should explain what I'm actually doing here. Hi, I'm making some folded Christmas ornaments. I'm doing the same video that I did. If you want to watch an edited video of this, then you can watch 
the one that I've already done. This is a nice live one. Let's have a chit chat and, and a laugh. <coughs> Not laughing much though. I, I, I tell you something. I did see a little, um, a little bag with tiny, tiny ones in. Do you want you'd, you'd have inside, um, like a pillow or something like that? I said, should, I thought, should I buy them? And I didn't buy them. I wish I'd bought them. I stock. I've got some. <laughs> tiny, tiny ones. What? The little tiny uh, polystyrene balls. What do you do with them? Do you paint them and make them into a baby mobile or something? No, they, they, I don't know. It was just a, a, a tiny bag and it had, I don't know, a, a couple of the, you know what you would put in like a bean bag? It'd be tiny like that. So I don't know what people would do with something like as, as small as that. What do you know was or what to do with tiny polystyrene balls? <laughs> Leave it in the comment down below. <laughs> I found it a bit odd. What would you do with that? I don't know. Would you build a snowman out of it or something? A tiny I see snowman. now it's showing a split screen on the on the thing. I was doing it all wrong. Oh, well, this is the first time I've done a live with my mum in a long time, so... No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> What's to do, self, self? do <laughs> I don't know what to do for my YouTube video this Wednesday. I was going to do that bag, but I just don't know whether... Could I be bothered? Could I not be bothered? No, I know what I was going to do. I was going to do... So I was doing a sketch last night of how to do some, like, free motion quilting, like, um, with lines all over. And I was thinking about doing it all different coloured with threads and stuff. Oh, right. different. So I might do that, just some free motion quilting. On my mid-arm. Sophie's in my closet now. Be nosy. <laughs> she's trying to find somewhere to snuggle up and just fall asleep. No, she's chewing plastic all the time. <laughs> oh, you know as you do. Yeah, I just munch on this bag. So I, I organised some of my fabric boxes as I got home and put all of my like specialty fabric in a, in a box of its own. So when I'm doing that kind of quilting, then I just pull that whole box down. Oh, right. Yeah. You need to be organised, don't you? When you've got so much stuff and everything. It's silly, isn't it? When you just pop things in random places and you don't know about where you are, what you're doing. It's very frustrating there. What have I done with that? It's bad enough just day to day, isn't it? Well, the other day when I was organising my room, I was uh, like, oh, I forgot I bought that. I actually nearly yeah. bought the same thing again the other day and totally forgot I already had it. Yeah. I've done that with, like, you know, like, things for the kitchen. <laughs> my cupboards are all nice and sorted now so how did you fold them over did you fold it over both together or did you just do one yeah i did it both together like that you just need to remember to move your fingers yes <laughs> yes I don't, i'm not burnt myself <laughs> i made a lasagna last night or yesterday oh lovely we nice. just had some i made yeah time. i made a bolognese I made a bolognese when I come home. So is everybody ready for Christmas? Are you ready for Christmas? 
podcast series on your, your food shop and that. I've done the food shopping. That's, yeah. all, we're, that's all we're doing is eating. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather just go for a walk or whatever. Yeah, there's some lovely places as well there in Canada, <laughs> isn't there? I love it when it snows. And this is the laborious part of it, just this. Imagine if you're making like loads of these ornaments. I know, like about 20, 20 odd of them. I think you'd just have to cut them all up, wouldn't you? I just cut just a shed load of them, just iron them all. Folded fabric Christmas ornament. I don't even think I've said what I'm making yet. We are making a folded fabric Christmas ornament. Okay, I've not used the white yet. Pink and white. What did I do it before? I did it teal. Teal and pink. That's right, yeah, you did, yeah. Actually, the other, the other day, me, uh, well, no, one, it was last, no, it was about two weeks ago, I mean, you zip on my boots, bro. I mean, it completely, it, the actual zipper thing broke. Then I pulled the other one, I pulled the other one up, and that just broke. It was really bizarre, very odd. But I've um I've actually got some zips and put them back on. But the only thing was it was very awkward around the you know the bottom end of the boot. So did you have to use an a a, a, a leather needle? What kind of needle did you use? It wasn't the 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 uh, it's not actually leather, it's like plastic kind of stuff. But I did use a leather needle. But the only thing is I couldn't get, because um, my sewing machine doesn't, do you know when you think, you, you think at the bottom, it can come out. Mine doesn't do that. It doesn't come out. Just now I'll just go and get, and I'll show you. Put it in. So I'm just folding these into a triangle. So look, I've actually, do you know like at the bottom here where the foot is here around here? Yeah. I had to sew all that by hand around there because of the, you know, the heel. I couldn't get it near the, the uh, what's it? So I did all the, the straight up and down part on the machine. And it was really easy. You actually got it into your machine? I got that into the, that part there, into the sewing machine, that part there, until it got to these, where these straps are here. Then, then I had to just sort of like sew all that by hand. Did you use your wonder clips? I did, yes, I did. <laughs> but you were glad that you had them. <laughs> I was. Do you know they're brilliant? Them wonder clips. I really like them. And do you know I was thinking, seeing when I was, I was just like looking in. Do you know where you go and have your your, your heels done? I was thinking, I wonder if I can, I can do that myself. I'm going to take the uh, heel off because they need healing as well. I thought, I need. I wonder if I can take it off and just do it myself. Because you, you get the heat, the heel thing, and like some glue. So I just need to take the old bit off and put a new bit on. I might just have a go at it and see how it turns out. I was I'm really chuffed with that. I would be chuffed as well. It's a really good job. Yeah. I would never even try that, I don't think. It's too challenging. Well, uh, do you know what I thought? I thought, well, at the end of the day, I thought, they're not very expensive boots, but I like them for the tan. 
you don't you can't get very you don't really see very many not over here anyway like brown or tan boots and I thought you know they were like quite sort of like reasonable but I was like can't you know and I thought well I, I was going to chuck them out and I thought well, well no I'm going to have a, I'm going to have a go at it I thought I'm go, I'll have a go at it so it doesn't really matter because they weren't expensive like boots I thought if, if it doesn't turn out, it doesn't turn out, and I'll chuck them away. So um, I thought, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a go. So I think the zips were like about £1.70 each. And I, I, I thought, no, I'll, I'll have a go at it. So I did. And I'm, I'm really chuffed I did. I'm really, really pleased with it. So I got my boots back. <laughs> I guess it depends on how much you like them, because like when I had to repair that coat of meals as well. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. It's like when you when that was quite a heavy, I think I mean that was a really heavy duty coat that. I think looking back on it, I would be able to do it so much more easier because I have so much experience now. Yeah, yeah. I did put me a zip footer on. Um, because I did try it without the zip button. I thought, no, it's not, not going to work that. So I did put that on and I did put a, a leather um, thing, but it's only the, 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 the whatever fabric they're made of, it's very light, um, lightweight anyway. I think I could have used my regular light needle in it, really. I was oh. watching the repair shop the other day and oh, they had this. That woman come in with this like leather poof and it was basically just all like quilted together um into like a into a footstool kind of thing and she she repolished she took all the bits off we re like did like cleaned all the leather and polished it all up and it, it looks absolutely amazing the, the, i know they're the great aren't they eh? what the, what the, i love it i i like watching that when i'm doing my sewing yeah. I see other people doing things and I need to do things. Yes. So they're doing things, I'm doing something. <laughs> <laughs> then I started thinking, I do you know I need to have a look for how and um, it's like when when did zips get invented? You know, and who who came up with the idea of making a zip? You know, with all those little teeth and everything, you pull something up and it all fixes together. Look, I've done it all. That was all right, wasn't it? That didn't seem to take that long. I think it's because we were talking. Yeah, but what now Sophie doing? wants to go out of the room. She's had enough. <laughs> She's had enough. <laughs> right, I'm going to let the child out. Come on, out, out, all the way. You have this habit of like going out, right, and just standing in the door. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what Neil said about your head jug? What? That I did. What did he say about my head chart? He said that I should have put Google eyes on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. I should have found a way to temporarily put some Google eyes on it. So when you got it, you'd be there like, what has she done? <laughs> I actually saw little tiny ones today, funnily enough. I've got yeah, to tell you, you got me tiny ones. Oh, did I get you them? Oh gosh, right, yeah. Oh, tiny, tiny ones. Yeah, you got me these as well. <laughs> okay, we've got a three inch, a three inch ball, and all of our parts. 
when you measure it and show everybody what you mean by a three inch ball, because when I, I thought it was just going to be like, when you put the tape measure around it, it was going to be actually three inches, but it's not. Um, I can't remember which way, Neil. I think it's like this. And then it's three inches. What, from like the, the, the centre to the centre? From the centre to the outermost point and then to the other outside, it's three inches. But if you wanted to do it the way that you did it, it would be a, it would be nine inch diameter. Right. <clears throat> so, and then I did manage to find sequin pins. I did actually, I found sequin pins at Michael's. All right. So the head must be big enough for Joe to keep the eye of the sequin inside. Yeah. We'll see anyway. We'll get working here. And I don't think they're very long either. I'll show you how long these are. Oh, these are tiny. You have to lift it, lift it up a little bit because I. Oh right, yeah. Oh god, I hope these are all right because the. This should be all right. Well, the ones that I first used were long. Let me try and find them now. <laughs> So these are the first ones. And they're um, 26 millimetres by 0 0.69. So they're just a regular one. And these are... Right. I can't get it lined up with the thing. Because it only went across one of my fingers before. This is going like across like one and a half of my fingers. Yeah, I think those are about the same what I've got here. But the head on the top isn't as, oh, no, as no. rounded yeah, as the sequin that. pin. The sequin pin's bigger. Well, I can get a bead on this. So you're struggling now. That's what I used. Did I use that? I think I used that. Did I use them? No, I didn't. I didn't use the round tip ones. I used just these ones because on my other um, ornament I've got on the tree, I just um, put um, a sequin, a snowflake sequin on it. Um, do I have, I want a jar. <clears throat> <laughs> I got these. <laughs> so get one of your main pieces of fabric that you didn't and then find, like, just put it on this, I mean, it doesn't matter at this point, which is the centre. Well, just kind of like put it on the middle. I've done it like that anyway. I've made it like a Oh, spot. we need to make the creases, don't we? Yeah, I've done that, yeah. You've done everything. Is that important? For... Yeah, because it kind of, it does. So you want to fold it and fold it again. Because this then allows us to be able to find out where to put the points. Because um, it's it's creased it for us, so we know where to put the points. Put the, put the points. <laughs> and you're going to take one of your, your main, 
So this here is just to hide any kind of like openings. That's all this is resting here for. Yeah. So you need to open up your piece. And then you kind of put a pin a little bit down from the crease. You don't oh want to put it right in the crease because if you do that, then it doesn't fold over into a point properly. And then yeah. you just like fold it back as it was. So it ends up being back in the, in the triangle shape again. And then you're going to place it into a corner. You're only going to concentrate on the center portions first. But you put it into the center, don't you, that? Yeah. So you need that first piece that you is a flat piece. So you can put those these into the uh, you can use it, can't you, as well, as well as you know that you might be. The only thing is, is that the last piece that you put in, it never seems to line up properly. But it doesn't matter because it gets hidden anyway. So this is like the second piece and you just concentrate on placing them middle bits in first. Like I said, that last one, you just have to kind of fiddle around with it. So you have to really put these pins in a certain way because you have to make sure that it's on the flat bit and not the folded bit, don't you really? Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Because you don't want that fold to be, otherwise it doesn't fold properly. Yeah. But you've done that quicker than me. Oh, that one, that one worked out much better than my first one I did on the video. <laughs> oh my God. So you have something that looks like that. And then what you want to do is go, where are you up to? <clears throat> it's all right now. You have to put all, take all those flaps now, don't you? And, uh, you have to put the flat bits down. Do you, what is it? Do you put them in the, where do you put them? I've forgotten where you put them. Is it the it middle bit? Where you start, you can like. No, is it the mid? No, is it the middle bit? You can put start doing the middle bits. Do you, oh yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. And then do the corners. So you're doing the middle bit and the corner, the corner bit. So do the middle bits first. I do the middle bit first, and then go around and do the other parts afterwards just in case you need to manipulate something later on. I find this very therapeutic. That iron always makes silly noises. What's your favourite Christmas song, Mum? Driving home for Christmas. Oh, do you like that one? I really do, yeah. <clears throat> it's very sentimental, though, as well, that, isn't it? 
Which is I like that. Ding 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 do. Whereas let's go. Yeah, that's a nice one. That's a happy one, isn't it? I like all the happy ones. There's another happy one, I can't remember what it's called. I'm just folding these like flaps over each other. You'll know what I mean when you get to it. <laughs> so it's like that. You've done it. Yeah, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. I like doing this. <laughs> it's good, isn't it? Yeah. So you're going to get the next row, and it goes around about half an inch from... That's in, that's in the accent colour, yeah? No, you're still going to use... Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <gasps> you can... You do the tutorial. <laughs> 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 so half an inch down from like one of these like pleated bits to the one the actual pleated bit not a gap down on the pleated bit right um open your finger get one of them ready again yeah i've done it yeah and about half a minute that's yeah. not that's on the thingy one isn't it cassie not on it's on one of the ones that we've already folded, not on a open, not on an in, not on an in between one, on an actual. It goes over the top of an actual piece of fabric, if you know what I mean. Do you know what I mean? <clears throat> so that oh gosh, I'm gonna take it out of this glass. Has it gone over the top of one of your previous ones? Like that. So that's that's the fold and that's the outside of the fold. Is that right? Yeah, as long as it's going one on top of the other. So here's so this is one that this is the one that was previously on the polystyrene ball. And then yeah. this one goes on top like that. Oh right. Not, not on, on the not, fold. Not it goes on the over fold. the top of a existing one. But um Right, okay, right. I was because the, the next, the the next piece hides the, the gap in between. Do you know right. what I mean? Yeah. So it's actually in the in the fold. You don't have to measure half an inch, it really isn't necessary. If you're joining us, we are making a folded Christmas ornament. I like it. Do you like it? Mm. I'm just wondering if I'm putting it in. I'm doing it on the, you know what I mean? I'm putting it down. As long as it's going over the top of an actual, there's one on top of the other right now. There's a white folded triangle on top of a pink folded triangle. Have I, gone, I just don't know if I've gone down far enough. <laughs> 
That one doesn't want to go in. Are they supposed to cover the other piece, Cassie? Not completely, because you've got another you've got another triangle coming up coming in again. Because I've got a bit of um, a gap. You do have a gap in between. Everybody's going quiet now. I'm trying to concentrate, just help her. <clears throat> Got it sort of like even, do you know what I mean? That's the only thing I'm bothered about. What I found about these pins, they don't seem as sharp as the other ones I was using. Really? The kittens are getting fed. <laughs> how, how do you know? It was clattering. <laughs> Sometimes you can use one pin for like two triangles if they overlap. Right. Well, I've done that. Yeah. I'm going to have a look at yours again. I'm like, cool. Okay, so you're going to get your other triangles the, and then the main. No, the white still. Oh, so mine would be great. So do you put that in between? It kind of goes oh. a little bit lower, see? It kind of ends up creating like a star point. It goes in about half, um, a quarter of an inch below the other ones we've just done. A bit lower? Yeah. Oh, right. Let's have a look. You can always change it. Now get nothing. Oh, I did the wrong way. So is that like that? 
Um, do it a bit more up. I think you've got you've gone a bit too far down. Oh really? <laughs> so this. Oh, like that. Yes. We'll also do a vote at the end who which one everybody likes. Oh no, don't say that. It's so <laughs> yours are no, I think yours is gonna win anyway. Yours is nicer colours. What's wrong with your pink and white? What's wrong with pink and white? <laughs> <clears throat> Ends up looking like that. I wish I could find that sparkle fabric. It would look better. I think I'm in a huff because I can't find my sparkle fabric. I'll probably come across it later on. No, I'm not even using my jar. That was really is tough on some of them. I'm going to have no fun left at the end of this. Oh, do you know, I was like, do you mind doing them boots? I kept, you know, the bloody needle kept flicking my uh, finger. Do you want to have to do it by hand? I might change my pens. I'm going to go back to my original ones. I don't remember struggling this much. I wonder where my thimble is. Yeah, I've got a thimble. I don't think this is going to help. It's not in the way. Well, is that right? What? Well, I'm just going to do that. What's up? I don't know. It doesn't, I don't think mine looks as right as yours. How do you mean? Oh. No, it's right. Mine just looks a different colour.
gone quiet again. <laughs> Trading on me. Uh. <laughs> Wondering if it's right or not. Mine's more wonky than yours. <clears throat> yeah. And then we're going to go back in with a, a main fabric. Did you have that fabric already? No, I had to get it today. Yeah. So we're going to go over a actual folded triangle again. So we're going to come like half and it's not half, is it? It's a quarter. Yeah, because so you keep saying half, but it's, it's not. It's not half. It's a quarter. It? So it's a triangle over the top of a triangle in the center. Right. And then do that over every single triangle first. <clears throat> is that on the, the are you doing it on the one that we've just put on or the one that's inside it's not on the inside the one we just put on just you've gone on top, the the one top of a triangle of what we just put on yeah It's okay, because you're going to have to do it all over again on the other side. <laughs> so it's gone on the outer one, not the in on the inner one, isn't it? Yeah, it's on the outer, like an actual triangle, an actual outside triangle. Right. That's an inside triangle. We're not doing them yet. We're doing it on the outside triangle. And you go around and you pin all them ones before we do the next part. And now you can see why it uses so many pins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the shop, uh, the actual quilt shop is shut today. They've just opened them on a certain day, but I can't mind. Pins are very fiddly. Yeah. 
sometimes you can save a pin by just like folding with the bottom of the bit over the top of another if it can. <clears throat> Mine aren't reaching. Yes, yeah, so them sequin pins didn't really work for me. They they do or they don't. So they didn't. Don't. It's I so find bad. these ones are going in more easier than the sequin pins, but these are just very, very long. <laughs> Do you have that? Yeah, I'm just still doing these. Things. <laughs> 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 Is this what you're going to be doing over Christmas, just making these? <laughs> now I've got loads of things to do. I've got um, <coughs> my gardening hoodie <coughs> to put a zip in as well. I'm just like old lips away at the minute. Right, got that. And then start doing it on the inside fold. Oh. <coughs> so you can just again. go slightly, it goes slightly up from the others. Go slightly up. No, it goes in. It goes in line. It goes in line with all the others. Do you know, all the other points. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> and he goes, nay, click, click. <laughs> <laughs> well, Open my other pack of pins. Da, da, da. Doesn't it look pretty? It does actually. I mean, do you know what? It, the nice thing about it as well is that it's is that I was uh, in. It's about maybe about a month ago now. I was in a shop and somebody wanted a specific colour of baubles. And this is a nice thing about doing something like this, isn't it? You can do your own um, colour coordination, that you know, can't you? Yeah. I wouldn't say that we couldn't find pink ornaments. There's definitely a lot of pink ornaments. <laughs> Not a lot of pink, pink and white. Um, there, there seems to be a lot of feathery things here as well. Mm. 
I think I did that last time where I, I was putting a pin in and I had the pin the wrong way round and I was actually still putting it inside my finger. Oh no. <laughs> It's when you don't, you don't, you're not realizing what you're doing. You're just like, oh, I know. you send you into a trance doing this almost. It's just therapeutic, isn't it? Yes, it is actually. Yeah. I think your ornament's going to be a bit too big for your Christmas tree. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, it is, poor little thing. <clears throat> I've got one side of it done. Yeah, I'm just going to do this and this, this bit's finished. Oh, my God, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Do when you made the first one, was you not really excited about it? That is, that was beautiful. <laughs> you just, I'm going to sit here going. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it gorgeous? Oh. So that's only one half of your folded Christmas ornament. Oh. How cool is that? Isn't it? Right, Naomi, this is the, the other side. I know. So you need to make sure that you can kind of, you try and get it like centred. Yes. I've, I've put, what I did to start off with, I put um, a pin in the middle. I then put that in the middle of the thing, that, that. Because I've got like a, can you see that? You got like a dint where the middle is. Yeah. Mine did have that, but it doesn't have it on the inside. I've put mine back in its jar. Yeah. Around about centre. And then I'm just going to do that again with the foldy bits. And then you're just going to find that centre point again. Yeah, then I'll take that pin out that I put in before and then that goes in there. Like that. And you're away then, because you've already done the first side, so... This side's going to be super duper quick. My cough was really bad before and I've come on live and it's not. It's because you're not thinking about it. Or is it? There we go. So we've got that again. Yep. That looks really cute, that how that goes down and that goes up. <clears throat> like a 3D effect. Yeah, I know. It's bloody <clears throat> cool. Try and get this camera right for me. Oh, Butterfly in the World was saying that she um, she does um, old singers and repairs them. Oh, does she? Yeah. Wow. So she took a course 
And she's repairing them. Isn't that neat? Oh, it is, yes. That was really interesting. It just proves that you can do anything if you put your mind to it, doesn't it? Well, I think it's also if you have a passion for something, it comes. Yeah, comes easier. Or you want to learn how to do something, and it's just yeah, yes, yeah, that's true. I just don't like that traditional free motion quilting. I'm trying to find, I like free motion quilting, but I don't like the traditional style no. of it. No, I don't. So yeah. I'm trying to find my way mm -hmm. with that. Right, so I put the other ones in between the, the center of the this now, don't I? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> Are you on to the next part? Yeah. Right. So this is like you go in between in the middle don't you so you're gonna go yeah where the where is it you've got a folded yeah a folded, folded one, one yeah. and you've got a, a folded one here and it goes that quarter down yeah <clears throat> This is like how to make a folded Christmas ornament in like 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, if you want to do something and uh, you want to, want to have something a bit unique, and you know, it's, it's like if you were sewing or anything or you're doing something, it's like, it's just, Keeping active and just, I don't know, I just quite like this. Is it? It is actually very very beautiful. I like them. I like it. <laughs> now well, all of your work friends are gonna have a Christmas holiday. <laughs> Susan watched my video and she was like, right, this is what we're gonna do for family Christmas Day. Because she does some sort of DIY crafting with her family on Christmas Day. Oh, right. Right. So she's going to be making these ornaments. Because in the summer she did um, little birdhouses. Oh. But out of wood and that, not fabric. Just the fake birdhouses. Do you know the little tiny ornamental ones? Oh, right, right. The old painted one.
I bet you're jumping ahead now, aren't you? <clears throat> what have you done? You've not done it yet? Uh, no, nearly now. <clears throat> I'm going to jump ahead then. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Quick! It's just when you put them in the centre that's the finicky part. Once you just putting the pins down on the edges, you can, it's basically just, uh, but I'm still on that same colour, aren't I? Yeah, you're just filling in them in between bits now. And is it the same, it's the same, just, uh, I'm not going any lower, am I? I'm just doing I did thing. go slightly lower. Oh, right. Because it creates like this, like, I don't know, I, I went slightly lower. I think if you went too far up, it doesn't look right. I'm in awe of my nails right now. My nails have taken ages to grow back and they're so much more pretty now. Oh, well, yeah. Here we are, aren't we? What's been going on with your nails? I don't know, but they always used to be very nice and long, that. Oh, no. They're coming back again. Good. <clears throat> Go off on that pins. What? No, I've run out of pins. I've, I've used me first lot. Well, I thought you meant in total. I'm like, what? No, I've got tons of them. Just need to open another box. So this is what mine looks like, and I'm going to go on. I don't even have any ribbon pulled out yet. Any what, sorry? Ribbon. Ribbon? Yeah. Your ribbon hides your... Yeah, that middle, middle bit. Yeah. Do you have any or not? I found some stuff that I had in the house. So I'll show you in a bit. You're going to be shopping just for ribbon. <laughs> I've got, no, I've got ribbon to, do you mean for the hanging thing? No, for the centre. Oh, yeah, I've got some uh, stuff. I'll show you. Are you just going to be staring at your ornament all night? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a picture of it and send it to everybody. Look what I did to the help them. <laughs> Have you done all of that colour or not? Uh, yeah, nearly. God, you must have really tough bloody skin. 
how are you getting all this done up? <laughs> I just don't feel anymore. <laughs> I thought you said you had asbestos hands. Oh, I thought I did, yes. Oh. Right. So where does this one go now? This, this goes like on the... This next one goes where, Cassie? Does it go on the inside? Over the, no, it goes over the top of the existing triangle again. Just goes the over the top. The one that I've just done? Yeah. It's very peaceful, isn't it? I've not heard any noisy cars driving down your road yet. No, and it is very peaceful, yes. I don't know whether everybody's taken this week off or not. When does Christmas Day fall? It falls on a Saturday, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, Saturday. Yeah. So it's like a full work week, really, isn't it? Because you don't get Christmas Eve off. No, I work Christmas and. And oh, Boxing yeah, Day no. isn't Boxing Day isn't a start, is it? Or is it? Yeah, Boxing Day, Christmas Day, and Boxing Day. Yeah, it's Christmas Eve. That's not. Everybody gets seems to get confused here with things like that, and they, they always think, used to think that oh, it's Christmas Eve. It's not. It's Christmas Day and Boxing Day. Have you been counting how many pins you've used? I have not. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could work it out because you basically use four pins for every triangle. Yeah, yeah. And you would just times four by how many of the squares we've done. Oh, yeah, I suppose so, yeah. By the 26 and the 16. No, it would be it would be 24 and 16 because you hold off two, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mum, a piece short. Why am I a piece short? Oh. I don't know. Why are you a piece short? A one pink piece short of a picnic. <laughs> oh no. I'm going to have to cut one piece. And I am it. I forgot about that bit. <laughs> How's okay, it going to stop? I can't do it like twice. Well, can you not just use your little roller thing? I need to just cut one more piece. Is that one? And then...
Okay, I clearly cannot. What is this? It's two and a half. Oh, it's just a little bit shorter than two and a half. It's a bit of a pain, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's painted before that, isn't it? Here we go. Let's try again. Look, I've made a mess just by pulling pink fabric out. <laughs> You're slowing you down anyway, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you up to? I'm just putting my, my last layer in now. I'm just... I've still got a pink ribbon out. <laughs> Do you not have any of that nice stuff that you used last time with all the jewels in it? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Are you going to are you going to use them at different? I don't know. I need to have a look at my in my ribbon box. And see what I have. What do I have in my ribbon box? I don't even know how long we've been going. Okay. It looks so beautiful. Could find some ribbon. Done it. <laughs> I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. Look, oh, it's so pretty. Isn't it pretty? It's, oh my gosh. <laughs> I got that. Is that going to cover the edges up? The thing is, is that you need to cover all them bits up. No. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't really keen on this, what I've got. It's just what I had in the house. No, I think I don't know. Um, I'm just looking at my ribbon now. Oh, 
this is like this is too floppy i'm gonna go back to my i have this as well it's a bit too pink though i'm not really all that keen on this it doesn't you know because <clears throat> It's turned out really nice. I, I don't know if I'm going to have to look for something else. I don't know. you can end up shopping for a pen. <laughs> the look, I don't know. It just doesn't do any, doesn't do it any justice, I don't think. And I think it needs to be a little bit wider. You probably need something sparkly or something. Yeah. What? Oh, that, that, yeah, I know. Is that one? I think I'm gonna I'm gonna leave mine and look for something else. I think it needs something like that grey, you know, like with some jewels. On I like it. well, I like the sparkly stuff. Yeah, I do. I think I'm just gonna do it with my regular, like just sparkle, because this is just like Christmas ribbon, Mum. Yeah. That you just find just to wrap presents up with. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't like that. Because I've got me little ribbons and that, you know, for the for the the tag to put on. So I've got that, but I'm not very happy with this. I the lady where I got the fabric from, the lady didn't have any much stuff in there. She only had like ribbons and stuff like that. I, I, I thought this was going to be okay, but it's just a bit, it doesn't sort of show up very much, does it? It's up to you. No. I think it, I think it needs to be sparkly. Yeah, I mean, I made it now and it's looked really nice. It's lovely. I'm not going to spoil it, but it's the bad I don't like. I'm not going to spoil it. Look at it. Oh my God. Isn't it lovely how just, just something simple like that that can come up, you know, one who thought about making things like that. So when you put your ribbon on, Mum, just like put a, a pin in to hold it down and then just go all the way around and just make sure that it's all overlapping and with that last bit just fold it over and then put another tin in and what I did for the hanger was I then so that what I do I'm going to do this part first tumbling things at once just go around because it's going to want to slide and that about on you so just go around and just Pin a few things, pins in, and that just holds oh, your ribbon in place. Right. And if you have really stray fabrics, you can just like um, cut them off or whatever, or pull them off if they come off. Go around just tinning and just making sure it just doesn't well like it's gonna come off. And I'm just gonna put that back on there a second. And then with your hanger, I don't even think to get my hanger out. So you have your two end bits, make it as long as you want it to be. And then I kind of like hid them inside of the ribbon and then moved it down. 
so that it's hidden in that ribbon. Do you know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And then just pin it. Pin it in place. You might have to do a few of them. So have you been using the thimble? No, I didn't in the end. Oh, right. I thought that's how you would... I changed, I changed my um, pins from them sequin ones to my original long ones. Because they didn't seem to want to go in. Right. And then that will then hold your thingy. Now, I wanted to try some of it different here. Now I do have these sequin pins. Let me get some sequins out. I want to place a sequin in them points. Okay, so you're supposed to be sequin pins, let's say. What? Ah. So it just holds them, that it's big enough for it to get your to go into the head of the, of the um, because your pins probably won't hold a sequin in place because they're not actual sequin pins. They'll hold thingies at these in one. Okay, I'm going to have to use that thimble. That hurts. <laughs> it's how we can make this like completely. Look, I put a little clothes on. Look, can you see the little bee? Yeah, are they the sewing pins? Yeah, I've got me some beads in there. Yeah. What did you do in the middle? Did you do anything in the middle? What do you mean in the middle? Like right in the dead center? Did you put anything in the dead center? No. Oh no. Okay, this can get tough when there's so many. So what do you think of your folded Christmas ornament, Mum? I love it and I think everybody should do it. Everybody <laughs> should make one, at, at least one, because it really is. It's, it's Look at that. You could, have, you could do all sorts of things, though, couldn't you, with, you know, like beads and... I was just wondering if you could put buttons in it, actually. <laughs> you and your buttons. I know, I like buttons. The snowflake in the center. That 
that just went right through. Keep grabbing two pins together. Did you do that? Yeah, I did actually. Yeah, what I, I I just put them all over the. I've got like um this. It's like a bow, but I use it for me ironing. I just chuck them all on there in the end. Oh, I love it! I really love it. But I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna find some else to go around there. I might nip out tomorrow too, but. Um, Oh, 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 the shop over at the Deepdale Centre, anyway. There's probably something in there. You're going to get some sequins as well, aren't you? I don't know. I'll see what, uh, what they've got. Oh, my goodness. It's beautiful, isn't it? It's really beautiful. Oh, is it how it looks different from just having it just plain? Yeah, yeah. And then you just... It catches the light a bit better as well. It does, doesn't it? Oh, my gosh. So that is how to make a folded Christmas ornament. So and I'll show you what I've done with mine next time I come on as well. What I've actually done with it. What I found, it's just like over here in the UK, it's not as abundant as what you are with stuff like that. So that's the second one I've got. No, that's that's number three. Oh, okay. This is my other one. Oh, yeah. And then I have another one on the Christmas tree right now. Oh, we've got three of them now. <laughs> oh, oh, just look at it. See what you mean? Could you do any colour you like? Any colour, you know, uh, the colours that you, you know, you, you want. And it's just something like unique because I want, I did actually would, would like to find something you know, like a lemon and a grey. I mean, grey is like silver, isn't it? So it was just something in, in lemon. It's a shame I can't feed you some of this. Glittery ribbon through <laughs> the know, screen. I know. I'll, they'll have some in that um, shop. I think where it's called. Hobby. There's a shop called Hobby Craft. This isn't like doing anything. It's doesn't. Okie dokie. So let's say. No, you have to go from mum. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodbye from mum, and I hope you all have a really lovely Christmas. I'm going to say goodbye, um, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. From mum. From mum. <laughs> <laughs>